Okay, so you're here. This is the end of day two, and so that means another homework assignment. Uh, you're doing great. Hang in there. I believe so strongly in a homework assignment exercise that I would recommend that you not move forward with this series of lessons until you are able to solve this because it's going to review all of those concepts that we've talked about in day one and day two so far. You're going to learn a lot more by getting your hands dirty and working and doing rather than just watching videos or reading a book. Okay. So here's the scenario. You did such an outstanding job for the Brahma Initiative that you are actively recruited by an international organization, if you will, that oh, facilitates discrete weapons transactions, to put it nicely. Well, this organization makes you an offer you can't refuse, and they want you to work on a mobile application that allows their salespeople to, uh, that are out in the field to keep track of potential competitors who might be spying on them. Uh, so they already have some requirements like this mock-up of the application that they want you to build. As you can see, uh, this application uh, allows you to put in the potential competitor's code name, uh, whether or not they're acting undercover, what agency they belong to, and then also any proficiencies that the field agent may have observed that they're able to do. And then uh, there's an OK button to actually allow the field agent to submit this data back to the uh, Volkov headquarters, the organization you'll be working for. Okay, so they have some technical requirements too. They want you to create a custom class called agency or I'm sorry, called agent. And it's gonna have five properties and one method. The five properties are the agent name, which should be a string, agency, which should be a string, is undercover, which should be a bool, proficiency, which should be a string, and then also record created date time, which it should be of type date time. So all of the records all the information, rather, that is collected from this phone should fit into one of those, except for the record created date time. You should just go ahead and pluck the current date time now uh, when the record is being created. And then once you have taken all the information from these input, uh, input controls and you've saved them into a property of a new instance of the agent class, then you should call the save method on the agent class. Now the save method for now isn't going to do anything. You can just stub it out. We'll worry about that in version two, if there's ever a version two. Okay. Um, but then for bonus points, which I, what I want you to do is clear out all of these values after you have saved them uh, called the save method on the agent class. So I'm going to click OK, and now all of the selections are gone. Again, that's bonus number one. Bonus number two is see if you can do this exercise only using the XAML code editor, not the designer. Okay, so you're going to have to type everything in by hand and rely on IntelliSense and your own keen wits to get you through. Okay, think you can do it? I think you can. It's going to be a stretch here and there, but use the videos, use the instruction that we've already that we've already discussed. Look at MSDN, look at examples on the web. You should be able to accomplish this. And if not, then this is a great opportunity for you to struggle just a little bit. If you get stuck, watch just enough of the solution video so that uh, you can get unstuck and then try to finish the rest on your own. All right, I think you're ready for this. Good luck. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.